Every type of control has a name property. In this lesson, I want to talk about control naming conventions that you should follow and the naming conventions that I will use during this course. The first thing to know about control names is that not every control needs a name. If you will never need to refer to a control in code, you don't need to give it a meaningful name. Instead, you can let it keep the default value that Visual Studio gives it. For example, labels usually only display text on the screen for the user to read. If your program doesn't need to change the label's text or other properties at runtime, then you can let it keep its default name, which will be something like label1 or label2. If your code will need to refer to the control while it is running, you should give the control a meaningful name. The name should be descriptive enough that you can figure out what it's for while you are writing code. Consistency is important to make your code easier to read and understand. Currently, programmers use two main styles for naming controls in .NET programs, c -sharp style and Visual Basic style. In c -sharp style, the name begins with a description of what the control is for and ends with the control's type. For example, if a text box is supposed to hold a customer's first name, you might call that control first name text box. You capitalize the first letter in each word except the first word, so you can tell where each word in the name begins. In Visual Basic style, you begin the name with a short prefix that tells you what type of control it is, and then you end the name with descriptive text, for example, txt first name. Different developers use different approaches, but I think the second style is currently most common among Visual Basic developers. Here's a short list of prefixes for the most common kinds of controls. You might want to pause the video to look it over. Most of them are fairly easy to remember after you work with them for a while. Here's a simple form where the user can enter a name before clicking the OK button. The program won't need to modify the label, so I won't give it a name. Following the Visual Basic style conventions, I'll name the text box TXT name. I'll name the button BTN OK. That's all there is to control naming conventions. In this course, I'll use the Visual Basic style names. You can use whichever method you think is more intuitive. The exact details you follow aren't super important, as long as you're consistent.